Hey guys, this is getting hot out. Barrister Loye Jimako has come out as well to say that it is all constitutional to swear in Tunubu when his victory is in contention in court. Ahead of the legal battle of the presidential election at the election tribunal court, the special counsel of Namdi Kanu, Barrister Aloye Jimako, has raised a legal issue ahead of the May 29th inauguration of the president-elect Bola Tinobu. According to Ijimako, it is unlawful to swear in an election winner whose victory has not yet been confirmed by a court. He also cited the fact that in the case where the result of an election result is being contested after the declaration by INEC, the winner cannot be sworn in. Ijimako stated that no law in Nigeria permits the swearing in the swearing of a winner when the election result is being contested in court. He said, given that the finality of election result is decided by the court, except where the INEC declared result is uncontested, it is all constitutional to swear in a winner, Tunubu, when his victory is in contention. It has not been aff affirmed by the court where the law that said such a winner must be sworn in. None, he wrote. Given that the finality of election results is decided by the court, except where the INEC declared result is, un is uncontested, it is all constitutional to swear in a winner when whose victory has not been affirmed by the courts. Record that Cardinal John Naike Emeritus, Archbishop of the Catholic Diocese of Abuja, on Thursday today said that those who read the February 25th, 2023 presidential election and the governorship election in Nigeria know what they did and God knows them. He said that it does not make sense to swear in Tunubu others whose victories are being challenged in court yet. He talked on today. Cardinal John Onaike Emeritus Archbishop of the Catholic Diocese of Abuja on Thursday said that those who read the February 25th, 2023, presidential election and governorship election in Nigeria know what they did, and God knows them. Onayeke Hull stated this while featuring on a Chinese TV program, noted that though the courts and tribunals sitting on various election petitions before them may not know who those who read the elections who read the elections, I beg your pardon. He insisted that God knows them and, and they, the election regards, know themselves. The cleric also said winners of election that are being contested in court should not be sworn in until the conclusion of the matter. The election is not yet over. There are cases in court that have not been uh, disposed of. That is why we are in an um, anomalous situation, we have declared president elect whose result is being challenged, and the court is handling it. I am entitled to take the position that I am still waiting for the court to determine who won the election. I am one of those who have been saying that it does not make much sense to sworn in people when they are still in court. We have to review the election process to ensure we have a winner who will be sworn in and everybody will rally around. I cannot understand. I'm not a legal man or judge. It is a pity that it is taking too long for the court to make up their mind on this matter, he said. Nigerians, you can now see that... Uh, Barrister Aloy Ijimako have confirmed this. 
He said it's all constitutional to sworn in Tunubu when his victory is in contention in court. You know, say when that Archbishop took him today. Now, so APC members, they just attack him left, right, and, uh, and center, and all that. These people, they have devised another means. Anybody that said anything about Bola Tunubu and the 2023 election, you see them coming after you. What exactly is the problem? And they will still be the same people to be shouting internal government. They will still be the same people to be shouting some people are bullies and all that. People will say something and they know the real thing. But because they don't want to know, they don't want to hear, you understand? They want to, you know, uh, start, uh, what can I say, is it intimidating? Intimidating people by attacking people who is just saying their mind. They say what the Lord, what the Lord says is that you cannot swear in a winner when the victory is in contention in the court. And that is the reason why Nigerians are saying the court should hurry up and do something about this before Bola Ahmed Tunubu's inauguration. Because they believe that once he's inaugurated, hmm, it don't finish with that. You understand the kind of power president, president gets. By then, the judiciary will not be under him. That is why Nigerians are saying no, that the court should do whatever they can do very fast to determine the real winner of the presidential election. Since majority of Nigerians are saying that Tunubu did not win the election. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.